Hey YouTube, that one guy one six here from the Top Gamers. Today I have another class review, and you can see Necromancer. Necromancer is best on a one-on-one -on -one class. If you attack more than one person, I reckon you'll probably die. It is the best soloing class. Well, that's my opinion. May not many be other people's opinion, but for me, it's the best soloing. So here's the description of Necromancer. Embrace the darkness that lies within you, channel it to control the undead that surround you, the darkest powers can be yours. To get this, there is two ways, of course, you can get it from the client shop. Which is right here. 2000 AC, of course, it's a bit of waste of money, exactly like last time with the Evolved sh Shaman. 2000 AC, basically the same of everything in here, 2000 AC. 2000 AC, everything basically here is 2000 AC. But anyway, enough of that, let's go back to this video. So today I'm going to uh, do a little tutorial on how powerful Necromancer can be, What I'll give it a score out of 10 at the end of the video. So today let's go to slash join pirates and then just any random number. And yet it is lagging. I'll be back in a second. I'm just gonna figure out this. So do not take, do not click that button to exit this video. Okay, we're back. I just fixed this. So we're at pirates. For this tutorial, I'm just gonna beat some undead pirates because I think they are the best way to level up. And see, I got almost level almost level 48 in one night doing this so we're just gonna attack this undead pirate because it's necromancer it's pretty strong against anything that's undead so we'll just test oh I'm only gonna get a bit closer usually if you could do a good combination it can get a bit stronger As you can see, you can revive your mana and your health, which I find very useful in boss battles or really, really hard battles where they have a lot of like health. So I get a bit laggy, but anyway, of course, you have auto attack. Everyone has that. Then we've got summon minion. Sun summons an undead minion to your side and sends it into a friendly, doubling all damage at the cost of health. As you can see before, if you rewind this video, as I'm attacking, attacking I am constantly losing health. I'll demonstrate that now. Summon him, I will constantly lose health, which you'll see in orange. We also get weakened. 15 mana, 5 second cooldown. Weakens the target, lowering damage and drains some of its life and healing you at this for the same amount. So depending how much damage you do is how much healing it does to you. I believe I did a 4000 so I went basically over the limit of my health so I forgot a full health before again which is very good because I was battling a uh, lot of chaos. I'll just destroy this guy. Anyway, next we've got Infect. It's got a 3 second cooldown and does not waste any mana. It infects yourself, damaging your health to restore MP. So I think it takes about 300 health, 400 health, and then it will get your mana right from 0 to about 80. Next we've got Undead, Command Undead. It's got 20, 20 mana and a 6 second cooldown. Order your pet to attack doing increased damage. So first, if you press summon minion, wait a couple of seconds, use command undead, your your uh, minion will do a little bit more damage. As you can see, I do th I have, I, I can't see my minion, never been able to, anyway, other people see it anyway. So I guess this concludes the second of my class reviews. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. I give this class a 7 out of 10, as it may have great healing, yet you can kill yourself. It has a lot of attacks that kill you. Um, it's a great soloing class, so 
So please comment, rate, and subscribe to more for more videos and more class reviews on AQW. Have a good day and goodbye.